Chapter 4 Multiples and Factors Multiples and Factors When a divisor divides a number such that there is no remainder left, then the divisor is called the factor of the dividend and dividend is called the multiple of the divisor. For example, on dividing 325 by 5, we find 65 as quotient and 0 as remainder or we can say that 325 is completely divisible by 5. So, 5 is a factor of 325 or 325 is a multiple of 5. Remember, 1 is a factor of every number and every number is a factor of itself. 1 is the only number which has exactly one factor, so it is a unique number. Every number has a fixed number of factors. For example, factors of 70 are 1, 2, 5, 7, 10, 14, 35 and 70. Multiples of any given number are unlimited. For example, multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, etc. Various types of numbers. Even numbers. A whole number exactly divisible by 2 is called an even number or a number having digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at its 1's place is called an even number. For example, 246, 1894, 5468, 100 are even numbers. Odd numbers a whole number which is not exactly divisible by 2 is called an odd number. Or a number having 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 at its 1's place is called an odd number. For example, 315, 107, 1001, 659 are odd numbers. Prime numbers. Numbers which have only two factors namely 1 and the number itself are called prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, etc. are prime numbers. Remember, 1 is not a prime number. Composite numbers. Numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. For example, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc are composite numbers. Co-prime numbers. Two numbers are said to be co-prime if they do not have a common factor other than one or two numbers whose HCF is one. For example, 7 and 10 are co-primes and 15 and 17 are co-primes. Remember, co-prime numbers need not be prime numbers. Twin prime numbers. Two prime numbers whose difference is 2 are called twin prime numbers. For example, 3 and 5, 17 and 19, 41 and 43, 29 and 31, 71 and 73, etc. are twin prime numbers. Prime factor. The factor of a given number is called prime factor if it is a prime number. For example, factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Here, 2 and 3 are the prime factors instead of prime numbers. Prime factorization. Prime factorization is finding all the prime numbers which multiply to make the original number. There are two methods to find out prime factors. Factor tree method, prime factorization method. Let's understand it with the following examples. Find the prime factors of 24 by factor 3 method. Hence, 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now, find the prime factors of 24 by prime factorization method. Hence, 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Remember, every composite number can be written as a product of its prime factors. Prime numbers could be considered as the basic building blocks of all numbers. Prime factors for any number is unique. 
no two numbers can have the same prime factors. Divisibility tests Divisibility by 2 A number is divisible by 2 if its one's place is either 0 or a multiple of 2. For example, 346, 3818, 14626, 100, 1994, 1252 are divisible by 2 because in all of these ones place is a multiple of 2. Divisibility by 3 A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. For example, 79,851 is divisible by 3 as the sum of its digits that is 7 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 30 which is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 4 A number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its digits in tens and ones place is divisible by 4. For example, 88,312 is divisible by 4 because the number formed by its last two digits that is 12 is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5 A number is divisible by 5 if its ones place is either 0 or 5. For example, 75,325 is divisible by 5 as its last digit is 5. Divisibility by 6 a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and 3 both. For example, 85,806 is divisible by 6 because it is an even number. So, divisible by 2 and sum of its digits that is 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 0 plus 6 is equal to 27 which is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 7 a number of two digits is divisible by 7 if sum of three times the digit in the tens place and the digit in the ones place is divisible by 7. For example, 63 is divisible by 7 because 3 multiplied by 6 plus 3 is equal to 18 plus 3 is equal to 21 and 21 is divisible by 7. A number of three or more digits is divisible by seven if sum of the numbers formed by the last two digits and twice the number formed by the remaining digits is divisible by seven. For example, 2268 is divisible by seven because 68 plus 22 multiplied by two is equal to 68 plus 44 is equal to 112 is divisible by seven. Divisibility by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. For example, 54,136 is divisible by 8 because the number formed by last three digits, that is 136, is exactly divisible by 8. 136 is divided by 8 is equal to 17. Remainder is equal to 0. Divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. For example, 3888 is divisible by 9 because 3 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 27 is divisible by 9. Divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it has 0 in its ones place. For example, 3840. 60, 5,423,060 5, are divisible by 10. Divisibility by 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of the digits in the even places is a multiple of 11 or 0. For example, 28,39,155. Sum of the digits in the even places is equal to 5 plus 9 plus 8 is equal to 22. Sum of the digits in the odd places is equal to 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 11. Difference between the two sums is equal to 22 minus 11 is equal to 11. 11 is divisible by 11. 
Hence, 28 lakh 39,150. 5 is divisible by 11. Highest common factor, HCF. We have already learned about HCF in class 4. And we know that HCF of two given numbers is the highest number that divides the given numbers exactly without leaving any remainder. There are two ways to find the HCF of a given number. 1. Prime factorization method. 2. Division method. Finding HCF by prime factorization method. We first find the prime factorization of each of the given numbers and then find the product of all common prime factors which will be the HCF of the given numbers. For example, find the HCF of 150 and 350 by prime factorization method. Solution. First, find the prime factorization of 150 and then find the prime factorization of 350. Prime factorization of 150 is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. Prime factorization of 350 is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. Here, common factors are 5, 5 and 2. Therefore, HCF is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 50. Finding HCF by division method. Finding HCF by prime factorization for large numbers is not very convenient. The method of long division is more useful for large numbers. We use repeated division method for finding the HCF of two or more numbers. In this method, we follow these steps. Divide the larger number by the smaller one. Divide the first divisor by the first remainder. Divide the second divisor by the second remainder. Continue this process till the remainder becomes zero. The last divisor is required at CF of the given numbers. For example, find the HCF of 136, 170 and 255 by division method. Solution. First, we find the HCF of 136 and 170. HCF of 136 and 170 is equal to 34. Now, we find the HCF of 34 and 255. HCF of 34 and 255 is equal to 17. Hence, HCF of 136, 170 and 255 is equal to 17. Remember, HCF of given numbers is smaller than or equal to the smallest number. If two or more than two numbers have the HCF as one, they are known as co-prime numbers. Least common multiple, LCM. The lowest common multiple of two or more numbers is the smallest number, which is a multiple of each of the number. We can find the LCM of two or more numbers by the following two methods. LCM by prime factorization method and LCM by division method. Finding LCM by prime factorization method. We write the prime factorization of each of the given numbers. Then, the required LCM of these numbers is the product of all different prime factors of the numbers using the greatest power of each common prime factor. For example, find the LCM of 504 and 594 by prime factorization method. Prime factorization of 504 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 7. Prime factorization of 594 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 11. To find the LCM, multiply all different prime factors of 504 and 594 using the greatest power of each common prime factor. Thus, LCM of 504 and 594 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 11 is equal to 16,632. Finding LCM by division method. 
Let's learn to find the LCM of two more numbers by division method. For example, find the LCM of 20, 30 and 50 by division method. Solution. Divide these three numbers in the following manner. Thus, LCM is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 300. Properties of HCF and LCM of given numbers. The HCF of given numbers is not greater than any of the given numbers. For example, find the HCF of 15 and 25. Prime factorization of 15 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5. Prime factorization of 25 is equal to 5 multiplied by 5. Common factor is equal to 5. Thus, HCF is equal to 5. Here, 5 is smaller than 15 and 5 is smaller than 25. The HCF of two co-prime numbers is always 1. For example, find the HCF of 17 and 18. Factors of 17 is equal to 1, 17. Factors of 18 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. Common factor is equal to 1. Hence, 17 and 18 are co-prime numbers having HCF is equal to 1. The LCM of given numbers is not less than any of the given numbers. For example, find the LCM of 25, 45, 65 and 91 by division method. Divide these four numbers in the following manner. Thus, LCM is equal to 5 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 7 is equal to 20,475. 20,475 is greater than all the four given numbers. LCM of two co-prime number is equal to their product. For example, find the LCM of 6 and 11. Since 6 and 11 are co-prime number, therefore, LCM of 6 and 11 is equal to 6 into 11 is equal to 66. Relationship between HCF and LCM Product of two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. LCM is equal to product of two numbers divided by their HCF. HCF is equal to product of two numbers divided by their LCM. For example, the HCF of two numbers is 23 and their LCM is 1449. If one of the numbers is 161, find the other. Solution. We have first number into second number is equal to HCF into LCM. Then, second number is equal to HCF multiplied by LCM whole divided by first number is equal to 23 multiplied by 1449. Whole divided by 161 is equal to 207. Therefore, required second number is equal to 207. Let's look at another example. Find LCM of the numbers 204 and 255 by finding the HCF. Solution. HCF of 204 and 255 is 51. We have LCM is equal to product of two numbers divided by their HCF is equal to 204 multiplied by 255 whole divided by 51 is equal to 1020.